Hey guys, Shane here. Before we get into this week's video, I wanted to remind you guys to hit that like button, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe if you haven't already, it doesn't cost you a thing, and hit that notification bell so you guys get notified of videos as soon as they go live. Again, it doesn't cost you guys a thing to do that, and it really helps the channel out. And if you have something to say, leave it down in the comments and let's have a conversation. So with that, on to the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Trains with Shane YouTube channel. Today we have a Will It Run episode. I got something a little bit different, yet a little bit the same from my usual. I picked this up off of eBay a couple of days ago. Paid more than I should have for it, but it wasn't too bad. So, usually you know I end up buying Kato or Atlas, but I ran across this Athern unit, and it is an XEMD demonstrator turned lease unit, an SD70. So, demonstrator units, for those of you guys who don't know, when, at least back in the day, when a manufacturer is going to release a new line of diesel, what they'll do is they'll put together a couple of units and let large railroads borrow them and they're what they call a technology demonstrator this isn't uncommon um in the airline industry in the past um boeing and airbus and douglas all used to be pretty heavy into that. They would make a couple of technology demonstrators, send them over to all the airlines, let the airlines fly them, get to know them, you know, show them their, their strengths and why they're better than the competition. EMD was pretty big in doing the same thing. Once the orders start coming in and the production lines are open, often enough these demonstrators end up either being sold outright to a railroad as a, as a low mileage, probably, um, unit for a good deal or used as a lease unit, which is the case here. This one was owned by GMTX and let's get into it. You guys know I like the GM demonstrator paint scheme. Pretty nice little clamshell protecting the uh, locomotive here and some, some flexible plastic here, kind of like how Intermountain and Bachman Okay, nothing else in the box. I thought, I thought these were something, but those are just little soft spots for the, uh, for the box to not rub the paint off the locomotive. So, what we have here it's actually it's fairly weighty for its size See the blue and white as is indicative of EMD demonstrators patched with a little bit different white color paint for GMTX I think that's a nice touch I'm not sure if this is painted or if it's a uh, photo etched piece. It looks like it's just painted, but there's some good depth into the detail here. Same goes for these grills. It does not appear to have freestanding grabs. Looks like they're molded in and painted. We've got our EMD logo patched over. Our front pilot here with plow, MU hoses, airlines, coupler cut lever looks like it's molded in it's they do such a good job of painting it's kind of hard to tell sandfeller hatch or road number 9041 our stack painted black here the exhaust three chime horn
emergency stop labeled. Good detail for our fuel level fillers. Can't quite tell what the, does that say fuel? Looks like it says fuel right there. I don't have big hands, guys, so for these to look so small compared to my fingers, it's uh, pretty cool. There's F for the front. Some kind of a warning label there, probably. Looks like we've got uh, magnetic couplers here. I'm not sure what Atherin uses as I jostle the tripod here. Pretty good looking unit. Seems like the details are the same on this side. We've got a warning labels throughout. Non-reflective, but we've got yellow hash marks on the side. The brake lever. What is no doubt some type of checklist or warning list here. Nicely detailed. I think this is my first Athern N-scale locomotive. I've got a few pieces of rolling stock, some, I think, two bay short hoppers, if I remember right, somewhere, but I don't recall having an Athern N scale locomotive yet. I've got a bunch of them in HO scale, going all the way back to the famous blue box locomotives. They always built a really good, reliable product back then. So. Let's see, I believe this is DC. I don't think it's DCC. Looks like we've got a split frame chassis here. Minimal wear. That piece of schmutz probably came off my finger. So yeah, not a lot to show here other than a very nice paint job and some very, very fine detail with the warning labels. So what do you say we get this big old SD over onto a test track, find out what it does or what it doesn't do? I'll bring you guys right back. All right, we are on the disgusting workbench test track. We are plugged into DC power. That's our line here running under to the desk mounted transmitter. So let's see if she goes forward. Dial in the juice. Oh, yep, we've got movement. Little bit jerky. And it stopped. Probably due to the lack of cleanliness of this test track. Backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the cab mounted headlight does work. It's not incredibly quiet, but it's no more loud than a Kato. With a unit this long, it really doesn't take long for it to make it back and forth on the little sliver of test track I've got here. So, I mean, this one's pretty short and sweet. Nothing much to say. It runs pretty well. Looks fantastic when compared to my Atlas and Kato units. The only stuff that I have that it doesn't beat out are my Intermountain and Broadway Limited stuff, and I paid more definitely for the Broadway Limited stuff because it's DCC and sound. The Intermountain stuff was price comparable, um, but uh, the detail was a little better. If you guys saw my review of, or I guess it's the Will It Run, of the, what was it, SD40-2 in MKT colors a couple of weeks ago, then you will have seen a pretty good example of what you can pick up. Like I said, I paid a little bit more money for this thing than I than I would for 
a DC only example of anything else, but I wanted to get an Atherin example here on the channel and I really couldn't resist uh, a demonstrator painted unit, even though it has been patched out. So with that, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in to another Will It Run episode on Trains with Shane, and I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, stay safe and take care.